Anesthesiologists, what are the best things people have said under the gas? Whoa of my fav, both patients coming out of anesthesia, am I in hell? I responded, no you're not, you're just in recovery, that sounds like something the devil would say. Count backwards from 100 to prove it, or the one who stroked my unshaved arm while I was trying to keep him from pulling at his IV, and muttered, you'd make such a great carpet, ETA, yikes you people really like hairy arm carpets. When I got put under for a colonoscopy I didn't really fall asleep during the countdown. I just looked at the nurse a bit confused and said, um, I don't notice anything. And she smiled and squeezed my wrist and said, just give it a moment. As soon as she said that I started fading out and according to her the last thing I mumbled was, oh that's fucked, you magic witch, I had to go under for ear surgery once. I thought it'd be funny if I asked, does anyone need anything while I'm out, right before I went under. I remember it kicking in way quicker than I thought it would so I had to take my chance while I still had it. I yelled it but got a very confused look from everyone standing around me, took a minute for me to realize I had accidentally yelled it while I was waking up from surgery. Oops. My husband went under last year, and once he woke up, by appearances he was as sober as a church mouse. Walking, asking serious questions of the doctor, apparently no issues are all. He remembered the procedure and described it to me in detail. I figured he just never went completely under. He was craving Chinese food, and nothing would do except for buffet, so we headed down and loaded up our first load of plates. Evidently, he actually woke up from the anesthesia at the buffet. As far as he remembers, he was put under and woke up in front of a plate of chicken teriyaki on a stick. Kind of a reverse story. Going under to get my appendix removed, they begin doing the countdown as they inject a hefty dose of propofol and fentanyl to put me out. I count down to one and then ask, now what? The surgeon looks at me and says, you're still awake. Man. You are fat you know that? I said, you're just saying that because you think I won't remember, he said. Exactly. That's the last thing I remember. Nurse anesthetist here. When I was in school I was getting ready to get a lady off to sleep and going through my regular spiel. I had the mask on her face and I said, nice big breaths, as I pushed propofol. Right before she went out she said, thanks, I just had them done. I looked at my preceptor, we looked at the circulator, and we all burst out laughing. I now say, slow deep breaths, instead. I love telling that story, that lady made all our days. Edit, obligatory, thanks for the gems, edit. I also learned that this is an old joke so maybe that lady had heard it before. I hadn't and laughed so hard I pissed someone else's pants. Last year they were knocking me out for a colonoscopy. It was the third time I had been put under in a year. As such I had a curiosity, I had heard that when they knock you out you are still awake for a while, you just don't remember. So in the spirit of science I proposed a test with the anesthesiologist, when she started the medicine I would begin counting backward. When I would wake up we would compare what I remembered to what she observed. Plunger down 99, 98, 97 I remembered nothing more. Minutes later I awoke. The anesthesiologist espied me and came over quickly. What did you remember? She asked. 97, she began laughing. You got down to 7, my dad works with that stuff, funniest thing he's heard is, hey Mr. Doctor? My ass itches and I'm too high to scratch. Edit, no he didn't help, the dude passed out right after. My wife is an anesthesiologist and her best line from a patient is, this is better than meth. When I was getting put out, I heard this cheesy jazz music in the operating room. I said, of course Dr. R listens to this garbage. Dr. R immediately appeared next to me looking none too thrilled. Then I went under. Edit to say therapist. Not the rapist. When I was nine and having jaw surgery, the surgeon was putting me under and said, say bye to your mommy and apparently nine-year-old me thought that meant they were going to kill me. My mother says I gave her a look of absolute terror and then passed out. Thanks for the silver. I didn't die so I consider it a net win. I had a patient start a joke before surgery and finish it when they woke up without prompting. Edit, changed promoting to prompting, thanks swipe. In high school I had a reconstructive surgery on my knee as I tore my ACL and meniscus in a sports injury. 
After the surgery I woke up in post-op, which was a fairly large room with probably six to seven other patients in beds waiting to become conscious again. I was lying there all groggy and confused when two nurses walked over pushing one of those carts with a computer on it. They stood over me and were typing into the computer when one nurse said to the other in a sort of frantic whisper, we've got to plug this thing in or this one is going to die. Naturally, semi-conscious me thought that the thing was me and I started to incoherently yell for the nurses to unplug whatever they needed to in order to find an outlet to keep me alive. Turns out it was the battery on the laptop that was going to die. Apparently the death rate for an ACL repair is pretty low. Not an anesthesiologist, but when I went in for my gallbladder surgery the nurse was an old co-worker and I blurted out on the table, I knew you'd see me naked, before I was out. I broke my hand tumbling once and had to get surgery. He goes to put the mask on my face and says, this is oxygen. I cough as the mask goes on. He pulls the mask away and I said, I trusted you. You lying fuck. That's the last thing I remember. Edit, I did have an IV. But I'm almost positive the mask is what knocked me out. I remember everything up to the mask though. I remember it got really cold further into the hospital and the warm blankets they gave me. Surgeon, not anesthesiologists. Had a super sweet 30 Y, oh, short woman go for a laparoscopic cholecystectomy. Little overweight, smoked cigarettes, otherwise uncomplicated history. It's like 8 p.m. On the table anesthesiologists gave her profil and she just didn't fall asleep, kept looking around. Gave some more, eventually closed her eyes and as anesthesia was intubating, said something like, yeah, that was a lot, I'm a vet now, I've never put a horse to sleep before. Everyone chuckled. When she woke up at the end, was moving around a lot, no big deal. Started rolling around and reaching and grabbing at her lines, nasal, urinary catheter, the nurse, face mask, me, the poor med student who didn't even want to do surgery. I lean over to keep her in place and she starts trying to get out of bed. She was stronger than she looked. Again, little annoying but whatever, part of the process. 9.30 pm. Now in recovery and I sign out the patient to the nursing recovery team. Patient is calm and fine. I go do computer stuff and get back to other patients. I get a call from recovery nurse, 10 pm. Nurse yelling for help, won't tell me what's wrong, just that I need to be bedside immediately. I sprint to recovery thinking the patient is bleeding, heart stopped, blood pressure tanking, etc. No patient standing on the bed, stretcher screaming tongues, thrashing her arms around like a blow-up car lot noodle man. Anesthesiologists is trying to grab her swinging IV line. I'm trying to talk her down but she's gone full Godzilla versus tiny townspeople. I grab her legs and lower her down anesthesia gives her some IV calm the fuck down at all. She gets starey eyed and we breath, life is good again. 10.30 pm I'm behind on work. Trying to catch up, getting hit with ed consults, I see you calling for help on a bleeding patient, haven't had dinner, my senior in the OR so I have no help. Phone rings, nurse says, the lap chole patient is asking if she can go outside to smoke a cigarette. 1.45 am me, hell no, is she even out of bed yet? Nurse, I just told her no, it's not safe, she told me to go fuck my goldfish, dot can we give her some Nicorette gum or something, me, wow, yeah, I'll order it. Only time I've ever ordered stat then called the pharmacy for hand delivery of frickin' gum. Nicorette. She was a complete sweetheart on morning rounds. I don't know which was real. Mandatory edit, glad this made so many people chuckle. Thanks for the gold and silver. Gonna see if I can use that to buy a better autofill for my phone, edit for words. I have a few. My first is a 17-year-old that just got her appendix out. She seemed really stoic and introverted when I first interviewed her but when I was dropping her in the recovery room she went into total bro mode. She keeps saying everything was fucking lit. She keeps saying let's party bro and responded to every question with a fuck yeah dude. My favorite though was a surgery on a lady in her 80s. She volunteered at the hospital and was a widow. In the recovery room I started hooking up her ECG. This involves attaching some cables to stickers on her up chest. When I reached for them she tried to just pull her gown down and show me her breasts. I said no you don't need to do that. 
She just said, this is so exciting it's been a while since I've been with a man. The nurse just started laughing and I got a little red. She then said it's sure getting hot in here. Sorry it's been a while. I had to leave after that I was way too uncomfortable. I had my wisdom teeth out and supposedly still bleeding a good amount on the way to CVS to pick up the meds. My mom was driving and I was just staring out the window collecting blood in my mouth. Eventually it reached a point it was too much at a red light. Rolled down the window and just let it all flow out of my mouth. I look up and this lady is looking at me with just pure horror on her face. I proceeded while still in some sort of haze from the drugs to give her what I can imagine the bloodiest smile anyone has ever seen. She wasn't originally turning right but proceeded to make an immediate turn. I am so glad I can remember this while still being high. Edit, wow this kinda blew up. Some follow up. Once I got the Vicodin I had like a 20 minutes convo about absolutely nothing that I had zero remembrance of. To the people afraid of having their wisdom teeth pulled it's not bad. I had more pain from being hungry than the procedure itself. Mine were impacted and never breaches so it was pretty much the worst case scenario. Had it done Thursday morning. Went to work Friday night on lifting restrictions. Went to a party Saturday night when the bleeding had stopped but I drank a bit too much, had been off the Vicodin for 36 hours, and had thinned my blood out and started bleeding at the party.